what is the most beautiful or awe-inspiring idea you've come across in mathematics? I don't know, man. Maybe it's an idea you've explored in your videos, maybe not. What, like, just gave you pause? It's the most beautiful idea. Small or big. So I think often the things that are most beautiful are the ones that you have, like, an, a little bit of understanding of, but certainly not an entire understanding. It's a little bit of that mystery that is what makes it beautiful. Almost the moment of the discovery for you personally, almost just that leap of the ah aha moment. So something that really caught my eye, I remember when I was um, little, there were these like, um, I think the series was called like wooden books or something, these tiny little books that would have just a very short description of something on the left and then a picture on the right. I don't know who they're meant for, but maybe it's like loosely children or something like that. But it can't just be children because of some of the things it was describing. On the last page of one of them, Somewhere tiny in there was this little formula that on the left hand had a sum over all of the natural numbers. You know, it's like one over one to the S plus one over two to the S plus one over three to the S on and on to an infinity. And then on the other side had a product over all of the primes. And it was a certain thing that had to do with all the primes. And like any good young math enthusiast, I'd probably been indoctrinated with how chaotic and confusing the primes are, which they are. And seeing this equation where on one side you have something that's as understandable as you could possibly get, the counting numbers. Yes. And on the other side is all the prime numbers. It was like this, whoa, they're related like this? There's a, there's a simple description that includes like all the primes getting wrapped together like this. This is like the Euler product for the zeta function, as I like later found out. The equation itself essentially encodes the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, that every number can be expressed as a unique set of primes. Mm -hmm. To me still, there's, I mean, I certainly don't understand this equation or this function all that well. The more I learn about it, the prettier it is. The idea that you can, this is sort of what gets you representations of primes, not in terms of primes themselves, but in terms of another set of numbers mm -hmm. that are like the non-trivial zeros of the zeta function. And again, I'm very kind of in over my head in a lot of ways as I like try to get to understand it. But the more I do, it's it always leaves enough mystery that it remains very beautiful to me. So whenever there's a, a little bit of mystery just outside of the understanding that, uh, and by the way, the, 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 the process of learning more about it, how does that come about? Just your own thought or are you reading? Reading, yeah. So, or is the um, process of visualization itself revealing more to you? Visuals help. I mean, in, in, in one time when I was just trying to understand like analytic continuation and playing around with um, visualizing complex functions, this is what led to a video about this function. It's titled something like visualizing the Riemann zeta function. Mm -hmm. It's one that came about because I was programming and tried to see what a certain thing looked like. And then I looked at it and I'm like, whoa, that's elucidating. <laughs> and then I decided to make a video about it. Um, but I, I mean, you, you, you try to uh, get your hands on as much reading as you can. You, you know, in, in this case, I think if anyone wants to start to understand it, if they have like a a math background of some, like they studied some in college or something like that. Um, like the Princeton Companion to Math has a really good article on analytic number theory. And that itself has a whole bunch of references. And, you know, anything has more references and it gives you this like tree to start pawing through. And like, you, you know, you try to understand, I try to understand things visually as I go. That's not always possible, um, but it's very helpful when it does. You recognize when there's common themes, like in this case, cousins of the Fourier transform like come into play and you realize, oh, it's probably pretty important to have deep intuitions of the Fourier transform, even if it's not explicitly mentioned in like these texts. And you try to get a sense of what the common players are. But I'll emphasize again, like I, I feel very in over my head when I try to understand the exact relation between like the zeros of the Riemann zeta function and how they relate to the distribution of primes. I definitely understand it better than I did a year ago. I definitely understand it one one hundredth as well as the experts on the matter do, I assume. But the slow path towards getting there is, it's fun, it's charming. And like to your question, very beautiful. And the beauty is in the, what, in the journey versus the destination? Well, it's that each, each thing doesn't feel arbitrary. I think that's a big part, uh, is that you have um, these unpredictable, no, yeah, these very unpredictable patterns or these intricate properties of like a certain function. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like humans ever made an arbitrary choice in studying this particular thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it feels like you're speaking to patterns themselves or nature itself. That's a big part of it. Um, I think things that are too arbitrary, it's just hard for those to feel beautiful because 
and this is sort of what the word contrived is meant to apply to, <laughs> right? <laughs> And uh, the, the, when they're not arbitrary means it could be, you can have a clean abstraction and intuition that allows you to comprehend it. Well, to one of your first questions, it makes you feel like if you came across another intelligent civilization, that they'd be studying the same thing. <laughs> right? Maybe with different notation. But Certainly, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Like, like, that's what I think you, you talked to that other civilization. They're probably also studying the zeros of the Riemann zeta function. Yeah. Or... So like some variant thereof that um, is like a, a clearly equivalent cousin or something like that, but that's probably on their on their docket. 